Did you know North Carolina is a significant wine destination and grows more types of grapes than any other place on earth? Hi, my name is Habiba and I am going on my first ever wine tasting and winery tour here in North Carolina. And you're coming with me. What's funny is I rarely ever drink alcohol, but I couldn't pass on learning something new about the art of making wine, moonshine, or brandy. Plus, I love any chance I get to meet new people and eat great food while enjoying the sunshine. That's me on our way to Durham with my husband, Kenton. The plan was to be on the bus by 9 a.m. with all the other North Carolina bloggers. So I got to meet Tiffany, or the Mrs. T as she's known, and that's Ashley Straight Ahead, or I Am Fabulous, and also Mr. Jack Nails, who you'll meet later. That's our driver. He was so nice. He helped us take a number of pictures. We got on the bus, and as you can see, it was pretty comfortable. So I sat down next to Anna and Kelly, who were super sweet, and shortly after, Kate started giving out goodie bags from Got To Be North Carolina or Got To Be NC. Thank you. So we were all given a wine carrying bag, super cute, from NorthCarolinaWine.org, a winery guide, a number of cute things like a wine bottle opener, some wine pairing guides, and before you know it, it was time to get off the bus. Well, actually, it was a couple of hours later. Getting off the bus. Look at us. <laughs> <laughs> cute, 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 cute. Right? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, um, there's no place to sit your uh, belongings. There are some tables back there. There's also hooks underneath the bar for your pocketbooks. And um, Max um, is down in Wilmington. Grove Winery and Vineyards was started in 2002. The main estate, vineyards, winery, event facilities, and tasting room are located just seven miles northeast of the Greensboro city limits. So there's 14 of you. They put in the vineyard here, and uh, we have whites and reds. Um, he started with the reds and then added the whites. Uh, most of what we make is, is grown here. Um, we do support one grower in Caswell County. He's very good. He grows the um, Malbec, Mionier, and Carmenere for us. Salad. It was great. 
The tasting room is open daily from noon to 6 p.m. I'll leave a link to their website in the description box. And during the state fair, the best of show. So that's on the 15th, October 15th. It's open to the public. The media will be there uh, working on three best of shows. Uh, you'll know when it is and can get the day. So the wine on Oh, I like this one the best. It tastes kind of peachy, sweet peachy. I'm not sure what it was about that blue bottle, but a lot of people seem to enjoy the wine from it. What's your favorite wine to drink? Who bought some wine? And she has, except for the glasses, she has no reason to not share those. Everybody has a bottle of wine. I was like, wait, I'm so scared. I'm like, thank you. Then bring cups, don't worry. I think we should be able to do Hey, Jack. Hi. <laughs> I haven't met you before. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Habiba. Hey. Nice to meet you. Same here. <laughs> I'm from Greenville, North Carolina. Oh. Well, that's where I live. Okay. Ajane almost sounds like an African name. Yeah, Ajane. Ajane. Okay, Ajane. Yep. But not African. Nope. I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Never been there, but maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> so meet Kate. She helped organize these tours. Hi. And you are on Instagram and your handle is? I am Life of a Ginger and then the letter K and the number 8. Yay. We're going to find you. Awesome. Doing my best not to drink too much. It is so beautiful out here. Look at this. Beautiful. Have they have weddings out here apparently? Get a group shot? Yeah, sure. It was such a pleasure spending my day with these beautiful, smart amazing creative blogger friends and i encourage you to find their websites and social media handles at the end of the video yeah i'm trying to see um uh, i guess i better join the picture huh better join the picture uh, lunch today is grilled chicken, baked potato, and a salad. And they will probably, to kind of impress everything in, will uh, be doing the wine tasting during lunch, before, during, and after. I do have to agree, Jack. Those bales of hay do look like marshmallows out there in the field. So beautiful. But let's talk about this party bus with the pole in the middle. Definitely a conversation starter. I was waiting for somebody to break out dancing. <laughs> As we drove past the beautiful grapevines, you're reminded of how diverse the landscape is here in North Carolina. One minute you could be driving past mountains or hills or flatlands, and all of that diversity creates different types of soil, which therefore translates to different types of grapes. And in this area, muscadine grapes rule. Like a lot of times when I tell people, they get so off put by it <laughs> that you can't just be yourself because you feel like there's something they want you to be. So I just, I'm like, does it even matter? Does it even matter? I like the bracelets. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm big on Amazon right now. Oh, really? I love everything. I order on Amazon just to kind of see. So, minus these, my kids gave me the Lord's Prayer on my. Okay. 
Our second destination, Gregory Vineyards, which includes Lane Seafood and Steakhouse, is run by a husband and wife team. It's such a beautiful location with the large porch overlooking a lake. So serene. I'm Kate, nice to meet Kate. you. Nice to meet you, I'm Lane. Habiba. I'm Lane. And uh, anything else you'd like to tell? Okay. I gave him a little history because I used to live here about 25 years ago. And okay. We've been coming here before. Okay. We can do that. And I did bring the trolley up. This we have a few minutes. We can shoot you down and do a quick view of it. The space clearly had a very traditional, homey southern feel to it. Um, we're just going to pass by and then take upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> and we do miss the Ajahs here if you're interested in massages. Yeah. Which one? I, I'm sorry, I just didn't know. You know what? I like to see the door, so I gotta sit on the other side. You want to say you want to take it somewhere else? One word. Thank you. As opposed to strawberry wine. Two words. Two words. <laughs> Gregory Vineyards had unfortified wines with names like Bald Eagle, Sly Fox, Stella May, Mary Elizabeth, Lee Love, and they also had brandy wines like Lady Grits, Buckhead Billy, Red Fearless. We're going to start off with the Bald Eagle, which is the dry white. Bald Eagle here, Paris will with seafood. Hello, wine. I got no zero calories here. <laughs> Are you drinking, sir? No, ma'am. Okay. Ooh, we have a little chocolate on this. Mm -hmm. I'll have to pay attention to that. You cut it. You know, we cut it like a pro. Now I'm feeling it, though. Thank you. I love you. I'm going to be really good. I'm going to be Lunch was really nice. We had a number of different wines and brandies paired with a baked potato, some toasted bread, some grilled chicken, a salad, and some lovely dessert. I'll pair as well with like a spicy pork or a spicy beef, Betty Faye. Betty Faye. Who was that Betty. named after? Lane's mom. Okay. Betty Faye. Interesting, Betty interesting Betty thing to well, attribute to your mother. Yeah. Well, mom, well yes. no, not really if she don't like wine. Thank you. Pretty cake. What kind of cake is it? Coconut cake, homemade from scratch. Nice. How about you, sir? We got lady grits. Fearless is my favorite. But if you like to see King of the Jungle. Yeah. We are King of the Jungle. For the Buckhead Billy, which nobody tried, is um, it's his name from Lane's brother-in-law who owns Buckhead Tools up in Atlanta, Georgia, and his name is Billy. And Buckhead Billy also makes a great. What did you buy? What did you buy? I bought Mary Elizabeth, which is a sweet girl. I'm gonna enjoy it last night. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Yay. It's just going to be like, what you got in? My belly is full. Guess what we're getting on next? That trolley there. Blueberry sauce grapes we saw earlier. That's what a real grape is. Trying something new. Is there a front back thing? Oh it yeah. Is. It's just that low. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, this seat's making me have to have a good posture. I don't like it. <laughs> 
The next stop on our tour was seeing the event hall, a great place to hold a party, a special event, or even a beautiful wedding. And um, rehearse. And then usually we do the rehearsal dinner in this building over here. We're going to go in. I'm going to show you where the groom usually gets dressed. We had a Lizzie Lou Couture event Sunday, which it was like New York had come to the country because it was amazing. <laughs> so, but it is not put back together yet, so the rooms are kind of full. But I'll at least give you an idea of what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I actually had brunch because I didn't want to do like oh, the dinner and everything. It was nice. I never thought about brunch. I love brunch. I love brunch. So. <laughs> so we love that. Uh, my bride, now this room is not ready. It normally has tables and clothes racks in here, but Lizzie Lou has got things all, we had, she had an amazing turnout, y'all. It was so wonderful. I'm oh, so, oh. so thrilled. <laughs> I would space. love a party in here. Yeah. You know? I know. I was like, I want to do something. Like, you know? <laughs> yeah. This is so nice. It is. Now, this room is absolutely gorgeous when I set it up. We put uh, tables in a, and make a rounded area for the dance floor right here in the center. So, I want to get present. The vaulted ceilings, tall vaulted ceilings. Uh, whichever way, she usually comes in this door to be announced, and then they go to the dance floor. This light up usually goes in It's huge in here. And then the bar is behind that, and we have three bars that are inside there. We do the catering, and our prices are very good. We're anywhere from 30 to Definitely a great place for your next event. I don't even think these clips do justice to that space. The magnitude of the ceilings and the expanse of the space. It's just amazing. Beautiful space. <laughs> Yeah. And we get and adding to that, we get a lot of people. We have a lot of people traveling, coming through from north to south. From you know, Jersey, the ones that were here earlier, they and, stop and, through every time they pass. And Aww. we, this part of the state is where a lot of them will spend a day or two. Yeah. In this area, so they're looking something to do. So they make a little day venture out here. Yeah. We do so we are a destination <laughs> stop for a lot of people. Aww. There was a proposal down at the trees just a few days ago. I've not cleaned that up yet either. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be beautiful it's right. with the white table so, up on it. We are legal moonshine. Wait, wait, wait. We are legal, legal moonshine. moonshine. However, we in Johnston County. In Johnston County. Legal moonshine. However, we make a brandy and then blend it back so we can serve it. The restaurant and you can buy it and take it home really. You know how humid and hot it is here today? Mm -hmm. That's all we we do muscadine grape. We can't do y'all are a little what, two two hours up the road at this point. Mm -hmm. There's a little difference in the weather break in that they get a little more night, cool air, a little higher elevation. So we can only successfully do muscadine grapes here. So we do our <laughs> We're about mid-September, grapes are starting to turn a little bit, or about mid-September when we do our wine grape. Before you leave today, we're going to ease down to the U-Pick patch, and that means U-Pick. We have a U-Pick where people come out, and we do have a huge Chinese market here. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. This is where the magic happens, yeah. huh? So we, we bring the grapes, we're about, about mid-September, we harvest the grapes, bring them up, and we send them into the tank, and that's where we put the yeast in, we, we ferment the juice and make the wine. Never thought I'd be in this business, I kind of stumbled into it. We put the first vines in in 09. Uh, I put the vines in as a backdrop for weddings. Never thought about making any wine, I never drank any wine, I, I really, I don't drink but they are a bottle here, a couple of glasses, something like that. Do you know what? How this works? Do you know how this works? No. Where's home? Where did you grow up? New Jersey. New Jersey. You don't even know what moonshine is. <laughs> <you. laughs> really? <laughs> what is moonshine? Uh, strong. 
pretty good. <laughs> What's the difference between brandy and moonshine? Now y'all supposed to be flawed. Y'all supposed to know all this stuff. Would it be legal or would it be legal? No, no. The process? Huh? The process? No. No, both of them. Distillation is nothing but separation. So we're separating something from brandy and moonshine. What's the problem? Who grew up in Johnston County? Nobody. Not a big Well, we ain't That's why you have to teach us, and then we'll vlog it right now. Right. <laughs> Is it aging? No. No. What? Grain alcohol. No. What? No. What? 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 Grain alcohol. Grain alcohol. What's grain? Corn. Corn, wheat, wheat barley, rye. Right. Yeah. Okay, right. that's grain. Mm -hmm. That would be moonshine. Okay. What's brandy? Apples. Apples, peaches, plums, pears, grapes. Fruit. 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 Fruit is a brandy. Anything made with fruit would be a brandy. Anything made with a grain, we would call grain alcohol or moon. That's right here. Now okay. I'm in my nose. Okay. <laughs> I learned okay. something new. Right. Here with water steam. Let's go to your stove. Ooh. Put a bottle of water on. We're going to turn the stove on. And steam comes out at what time? 212. <laughs> Temperature with alcohol steam. Oh. Water's at 212, alcohol way down here. 173. 173. There you go. Alcohol is going to steam first. <laughs> at 173, when we reach 173 degrees, this steam coming up is going to be alcohol. So if we never get to 212, we only going to steam alcohol, right? So we won't stay under 212, and we only going to steam alcohol. So the alcohol steam is going to come up, come over, it's going to come into this. Take it from the liquid, do a steam, back to the liquid. We're doing that. Distillation is separation. That's all we're doing. We're separating alcohol, water, impurities. That's all we're doing in the process. She's going to have some brandy here. <laughs> oh, they're very cute. Thank you. Just a tiny bit, please. I'm driving later. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, shoot, I can't do it. Y'all do it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no? Really? I'm okay. cringy. Okay, so now yeah. I don't know if it's just shoot it. No, that one's bad. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we got off the trolley to get a closer look at the muscadine grapes. Muscadine grapes are native to North Carolina and the southeastern United States and they are available throughout from late August through early October. Unlike bunch grapes that are harvested by clipping whole bunches from the vine, muscadines are harvested as individual berries. Did you know muscadines are among the richest sources of antioxidants found in nature? Yes, it's amazing and they're so delicious. They have really thick skins and also seeds in the center. Yep. Take, let me show you what that is. <laughs> Actually, you know what? This one's not bad. I have had these before. Yeah. Oh, 
Is there a ripe one? Oh, okay. Uh, bye. Okay. Bye. I'm seriously enjoying myself right now. Getting high off the of muscadine grapes. Catch an Uber. Okay. Thank you. And they can find you where? Your right address. here. Yeah. Your I don't know where I'm at. I'm yeah. <laughs> this is my first day on the job. They didn't, they didn't tell me where I'm at. <laughs> You're at Lane Seafood and Steakhouse at Gregory Vineyard. Okay, okay. thank you so We're much. We're at McGee's Crossroads in Johnston County. All right, okay. well, we Come had a wonderful time. Appreciate you really coming in. Really enjoy you Glad and your staff. Glad to have you anytime. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're back in Durham. This is our uh, third, this is our third wine stop. Our third stop, the wine feed, back in Durham, had a really cool vibe to it. Very urban loft with tall high ceilings, great furnishing, very modern appeal, and uh, a comfortable place to hang out or take Instagram pictures with your friends or have a nice little meal and a glass of wine. So we were really tired at this point after a long day in the sun on a party bus. <laughs> And uh, this place had a lot of great, uh, cool wines from all over the world, South Africa, Austria, Germany, France, New Zealand, Chile, Argentina, you name it. They had some kind of wine or alcohol from the region you're from or would love to travel to. So definitely a great place to hang out. They even had a wine club corner. We really appreciate the wine feed and all the different wineries and all the effort that they put into making sure we were comfortable and educating us about their different wines. It had been a long day and we were all exhausted. <laughs> Oh, this is a different wine. Yeah. Well, no, I was just over here. Give me the reminder of like butter and like popcorn. Yeah. Uh, well, there's a reason for that. Because you guys are all standard steel, except for about 25% of the barrel age, the start age, and what the back end. So that's why you're getting like a creamy, buttery, uh, buttered for malolactic fermentation, which I think they've done a little bit here. It's a secondary fermentation that takes away the malic acid that's like apple, kind of crispy. Thanks, Kate Kelly, Jack Nails. Thanks also to the North Carolina Department of Agriculture for hosting this tour. Bye. Bye. And one of these days we're going to collab on something. I know. Maybe I know. a makeup tutorial. Mm -hmm. no, I love my makeup. <laughs> I'm Tiffany from Dutch Tea.com. I'm based out of Fayetteville, and I love local. So, what else am I supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Lifestyle, foodie. Yeah, yeah. lifestyle. But, well, I cover just about everything. Yeah. Food, everything. I love it all. And um, I cover local events, and I'm also a blog consultant for so Dietary Health. Can you let me know? My hair. Yes, I like it. Oh, thank you. I was like, awesome. I cover my hair today. So. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, this is great though. So. But, and then this is Kelly. <laughs> I'm Kelly. I am based out of Fayetteville. Um, my name is Kelly Seeks. 
I am a lifestyle blogger and recently I've been doing a lot of traveling with my kids. So I've been highlighting or will be highlighting a bunch of places we went. We've been on six vacations this summer and we're going on the seventh the week before school. So just me and my three kids and my husband. So <laughs> I am Cecilia. I'm with Food Diary of City Girl. I do uh, feature travel, food, and a little bit of lifestyle. I live out of more Okay, I'm Saru Matyar. I blog at uh, Fingers Up for Burning with this oh. food and started blogging about Labu because we've been traveling a lot in summer and I live in more school. Uh, I'm Kelly, another Kelly, and I'm also living in Morristown, not knowing Kelly before. <laughs> and my blog is called Trial and Share. It's uh, food and travel. My name is Anna. I'm based in Raleigh. Um, my blog is The Coffee Table, and I talk about everything, food, local stuff, lifestyle. All right, this is awkward. <laughs> And um, my claim to fame on this bus is I'm probably the oldest one, besides Jack. <laughs> Married with three children. Um, I'm a physician first. I have stumbled upon being a blogger, a lifestyle blogger, but mostly cooking, um, family, children, travel, whatever I feel like. And I need to be more consistent on my blog. I'm a lot consistent on YouTube, so you can find me there. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Andrea. Uh, I blog at Good Girls on Redneck. Um, I I need to get more consistent because I've been like I just came back after like a month and was like, oh, I remember this. I know how to do this. Um, I, Kate and I created the NC Social Group and we kind of run it together. She is totally taking care of all of this good stuff and I'm just kind of sitting back to the right. Um, but I write about family, life, in general, mental health, books, and my 11 year old daughter. Hi, I'm Kathy. I have several different blogs because I don't know who I am. <laughs> I'm Alyssa, I'm based out of Goldsboro. I blog at Adventures of Proof of Mom. I'm a mom of three beautiful girls. One just actually just moved to California starting graduate school. Ooh, yay. And she just got engaged, so I'll be doing Ooh. wedding princes, oh so for wedding and everything. And then my middle daughter is at USC Greensboro sophomore, and then I play other sister junior in high school. Hi, I'm Raina. I have a lifestyle blog at Simply Southern Girl Charm. I have a food and travel blog that I just kind of started at Pack and Plate It. And then um, I do public relations. So I represent bloggers and food trucks and pretty much All anybody. Yeah, it's <laughs> a small business, so people kind of start up. And um, I also do photography, commercial photography. And um, I have two young girls. Hi. I'm the creator of Fab Ellis. I'm an affordable, I would say, lifestyle blogger. Um, I really concentrate a lot on beauty and fashion. Did I say I'm from Greensboro? No. Okay. I'm from Greensboro, but I used to live in Raleigh, so I know a lot of people in both areas. And I'm also the creator of the Triad Women Bloggers Network, which is based for Greensboro, High Point, Burlington, Winston-Salem. Um, just a group for women bloggers in the area to connect. <laughs> Alright, well, um, I'm Anjani. I'm based out of Greenville, North Carolina. My blog is Lots of Sass, so I cover affordable fashion, beauty, um, and in the future, some travel. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. That works. Yeah, that's it. I'm Jack Mills. I'm with the North Carolina Department of Agriculture. we got to be in the North Carolina I do not blog. <laughs> uh, but I do uh, manage uh, uh, several social media accounts, uh, particularly for NC Wine. So I do the Twitter, the Facebook, and the Instagram. Uh, if, if you are posting things, if you use the hashtag NC Wine, no S, uh, it'll show up on ours. We'd be very happy to share it on our Facebook, Twitter, and 